Yeah, this is me when I started dancing, and that was in 2007, and I started dancing because of Pussycat Dolls and Beyonce. I would learn all of their choreos from live performances and music videos, and I would lock myself in my room, and I was just having the best time ever. I got older, I kept on dancing, and because of that I got bullied a lot in school, and also for being different, so dancing became a way for me to escape the real world. So whenever I was feeling sad or lonely, or like the whole world doesn't understand me, I was just dancing, because that's how I put my worries aside, and I was just a happy boy. When I was in high school, I was actually studying art, and that's where I explore all of my creativity even more. So I was experimenting with makeup in my videos and kind of like weird outfits and stuff. So I was really out there during that time. Then during high school I also got into my first dance group and that's where I got my first dance training. We were having rehearsals and we actually started performing as well in clubs and like different festivals and stuff. And that was the best boost for my confidence. I'm falling for you and tell, tell me your secrets. I will tell, tell you my secrets. Also the people in the group were my real life friends, so that was the best combination ever. Sadly, at one point we stopped being friends and I left the group, but I will forever be grateful for this experience and I have no bad feelings anymore. One of the best nights of my life was when we performed at my graduation ball. Not only my bullies, but my family was there, and it was the first time that all of them saw me performing in person. I was just super happy, and actually I got to perform my own choreo. And then I started wearing heels. My first pair was some like kitty heels, really short ones, but you gotta start somewhere. And also during this time, uh, that's when my passion for making dance covers really fully exploded. I just realized that I love to learn choreos from Beyonce and all of these artists and make my own like version of it. So I started doing covers and that became one of my biggest hobbies ever. And right now I think I'm at a point where I finally feel satisfied with how I'm dancing and I might not be the greatest dancer ever, I know that and there are much better dancers out there than me. But I finally have enough confidence and I know how I build myself up to really be happy with what I'm doing. 
And to anyone out there, I just want you to know that if there is something that makes you happy, don't give up on it just because there are bullies or people that don't believe in you. They don't matter. At the end of the day, it's about you and your own happiness and you shouldn't give up on anything that makes you happy for someone else. So go out there, do your thing and be badass about it because I believe in you.